Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today we got a question from Isido. Uh, they are looking to create essentially a bunch of enemies and then under cir in circumstances make one into a super enemy. Um, they're talking about doing it based off of score points, so we will follow that logic. And without further ado, we'll hop into the video. And we'll start a new project. And I have a slime that I made myself and we will use him so I have this sprite sheet here I'm going to drag him down onto this animation bar and I'm going to import it from a sprite strip and that will let me type in the horizontal and vertical cells and it will divide it for me so I'll get rid of the blank cell and I was dumb and didn't blank out the background but that's easily fixable on here I'm just going to get the fill and grab this and just throw that on each one real quick that way we don't have a big old white blob behind them but now I have a little sitting there slime that will bob up and down as it waits blurp blurp just like that um, so we'll have him going and I'm gonna want some text boxes on here this one is going to be HP and this will be attached to each slime and this is going to show that the uh, slimes change in one of their stats um, and then when I summon the big one it'll summon a bigger one and we'll go back to summoning small ones so um, we're gonna set this to be attached to the slime so each time we make a slime it will automatically make one of these for us um, and it will make them at the same position so we do that with container down here and you can see this weird greenish highlight. Whatever one I click, it shows what's contained within it, what's within this, this container here. Um, so I have this slime, and then I have this text box, and they will be created together. And I'm going to set these so I want it to be centered there. That way, when they're created on top of each other, this will be right above the slime. And then I want the origin to be on the bottom. And you can see the origin right here. And they'll line up right there. That'll be the position they're both created on. So it'll be something like that when it actually makes them. And that'll have it show up with a slime. And then I'll be reading off their HP with that text bar. And it'll just be right above them. So it'll say something like 10. So then we'll know it has 10 life because it'll be the closest text bar to them. Um, so we got that there. I'm going to drag this off to the side because I'm going to create my own slimes uh, during the actual thing. And I'll need a mouse to do that because I'm just going to do it with a mouse click. And then I'm going to throw a text bar on here for the score. Uh, since he wanted his based off of... Sorry, since they wanted theirs based off uh, the score. We'll have a score happen each time a new slime appears. So I'm just going to name this text to score. And I believe... Throw a variable on here, and that should be the last thing we need on this side. A uh, variable for health. So that'll be how much HP each slime has. And we hop on over here. And we're going to do an every tick. And we'll set every tick the score equal to. So set text. And I'm going to say score. And then I'm actually going to add the score, which I don't have yet. So we'll leave that blank for a second. And we will add a global variable. And we'll call this bad boy score. And then every tick, we're going to set score equal to score, which for right now will be zero, because I haven't done anything with it. So we got that. And now on mouse click, every time I click with a left click, we want to create a new object. And that'll be our little sprite, which is our slime. We're going to create it. Uh, layer 0, it's my only layer. And then X and Y and show you something real quick. If I click on layout here, um, I lied. If I click on project view here, or new project up here, uh, this is the project that I'm in, and it tells me my viewport size right here. So when I click that, that's the size of this window we see. Um, so if I use these in order to create a location for these come out, I want it to be within this, so I see them all. So if I made this like 1200 by 1200, they could appear off the screen. We won't see them at all. So we want to keep them all within this. So I'm just going to say random. That way they jump around everywhere. And 800 
and then the y will be random and 450 and that should keep them all on our page for us so every time I click we will create a new slime they'll automatically create that text box above and every tick we do want to set that HP bar as well so we will set that to um, we don't need any actual text in there we just want slime dot Sorry, Sprite. I forgot I did not rename him. Sprite.health. And <coughs> we will also update the score every time we create a new Sprite. So system, and we will add to our score variable. We'll just throw 15 points up there. Uh, just an arbitrary number to keep track. And then we can have a check. Actually, I'm going to attach it here. Add a blank sub-event. And this is just going to check if that score is going to go above 100. So if score is greater than or equal to 100, and this is going to create the Mamba Jamba slime. And we only want it to happen once, and we're going up by 15 interval. So I'm going to set this to essentially have another one that does the same thing, but stops it at 115. So less than 115. Um, and that'll make it only happen one time. And then we will add extra attributes to the slime. Uh, first, let's set a health for each slime that's created. Um, so this one's under just our normal left click, not the special event I just made. Um, we're going to set value health. And we're going to set that to 10. And we're going to do plus score divided by 15. And that'll just give them <coughs> uh, one more health each time. So we'll create one and it'll be 10 health and the next one we create will be 11 health and then 12 health etc and then when we actually create our big guy we're gonna set variable of health to let's say 200 life he's gonna be real big and then we're gonna show he's the big guy so we're gonna set his size as well, actually, we're going to use scale. That way I don't have to name the size. I'm just going to times it by three. So it'll be three times bigger than the other slimes. Uh, we'll set his health. <coughs> we can also add more to the score to let the game know that we hit a big guy. Uh, so we will s add to value score 100 points. Um, and I believe that's everything. We'll run the run the game, see what happens. So I click once, we create a guy with 10 life, our score goes up by 15, click again, his health went up, and it's continuing to go up by 15. Mm, excuse me. Um, and then at 90, so our next score is going to put us above that 100 marker, and that's going to bump us into a big one. So we click again, let me see we get the big Mamba Jamba there. Um, my slimes are boring because I didn't set the sprites to loop. So they just wiggle once when I put them down. But uh, one more click, and we, we get a new slime with a weird amount of health. Um, so I'm going to fix both those two issues, and that should pretty much do it for this video. But uh, So the first one is going to be set the text to, and we're just going to throw an int on here. And that way it will uh, truncate whatever number's on there. It'll just remove all the decimals. Um, and they can still keep their value of health. It's still in the system correctly, but it only shows us a nice clean integer. So that fixes one problem. And then the other problem was on my slime. So I'm going to open this up and we hop in animation and we just turn loop on. So now I can pop a few slimes and they're all wiggling around. The big one ate one of the little ones, but that's fine. It's doing what we want. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, you're just going to set up some variables to essentially check, and then you just make the edits straight onto your slime. Um, as you create new ones, it's going to know to set the values that you're talking about to that new created slime, or whatever your enemy is. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have a good day.